You know the deal, cameo or first appearance. Let's go. What's going on, 22 here, and you've seen the thumbnail, you have read the title. Let's check out this cameo or first appearance of Bishop and the most debated first appearance, Wolverine. Let's start things off with Bishop in Uncanny X-Men number 282. Here is the first print cover right here. The second print has like a gold background where the yellow is. Awesome, amazing cover to start off with. I hear more times than not that people refer to this X-Men 282 as the first appearance of Bishop. Great, amazing cover right here. It's got his name on there, full front center of Bishop, showing off his power as well. Let's check out the pages though. When it comes to Bishop's actual appearances in this book, we're limited to really just one single page. And this right here is the page right before it. We see a character by the name of Shinobi who is bringing in characters from another timeline and has left a portal open. And this is where you see start seeing all the firepower come in through that portal from the other side, blasting away the sentinels that he had. And he knows who's coming through that portal. Here's the page right after that, and there's none other than Bishop right here. Full splash page, not a little panel within a bunch of other panels on the page. We see his name, the Shinobi, acknowledging that this is Bishop, and you fully see him costume everything. As far as the story goes, though, he is just a cameo. He is never mentioned anywhere else throughout the rest of the book from what I can tell. Now let's see what CGC and CBS have to say about this book and how it deals with Bishop's first appearance. Here's a CBCS book right here that I pulled off of eBay. If we zoom in, you can see the label good and clear right there. It says first appearance of Bishop, Randall, and Malcolm in cameo. First Bishop cover, which, it, it, so that clarifies this is the first Bishop cover. That's how CBCS looks at it. Let's look at CGC. Here's the CGC slab, another one that I got off of eBay. Let's zoom in. First appearance of Bishop, Malcolm, and Randall in cameo on last page. So CGC does not notate that this is Bishop's first cover appearance, where CBCS does apparently. But they are on agreement that they th feel as if it's a cameo in this book. Let's look at what would then be 283, because that's his next appearance, and what they have to say about that. Here's the cover for X-Men 283. Bishop again on the cover. However, you're looking at like a back angled view of him. So no clear facial features or anything like that. And uh, no real good look at the costume. We got all that from 282. Here's the first page that you come to with Bishop on it. This is not the first page in the book. If I remember correctly, this is like the second page. This would be page two in that book. But you see him there in the background. And throughout the rest of the book, he is part of that story. He's fighting off some of the people that came through the time portal before him he's after shinobi as well he then comes in contact with the x-men thinks that they're frauds and starts to engage in combat against them as well so story-wise yes this this is absolutely bishop's first story in comic books and you see him throughout the rest of the book let's see though what cbcs and cgc have to say about this appearance though Here's a CBCS slab. It says first full appearance of Bishop Malcolm and Randall. So they're saying it's a full appearance. CBCS is. Here is a CGC. Let me blow this up for y'all. And again, we have first full appearance of Bishop Malcolm and Randall. So CBCS and CGC both seem to agree that this is the first full appearance of Bishop on here. However, the comic book community seems pretty slit, split on this. Like I said, more times than than not I hear that Bishop's first appearance is 282. It definitely, in my opinion, has the better cover of the two books. However, I don't think a cover should have the impact on what the actual first appearance of a character is. What are y'all thoughts? Let me know down in the comment. Does the cover have any 
the difference to you on whether or not it's a first appearance. Now let's go and let's start looking at Wolverine, the most debated first appearance in comic books in my opinion. Starting things off with Hulk 180. It's got an okay cover, nice awesome colors. You got Wendigo over there, you got the Hulk, no Wolverine, no mention of Wolverine on the cover at all. However, when you're reading the book, you get to a point, it's maybe about halfway through the book, I can't remember the page count, but we have this panel right here, I'm going to blow it up for you. You have this panel right here at the bottom that's talking about a secret base that's in Canada that's basically there to monitor the Hulk and other creatures like him, other characters like him, because of what destruction was caused in the past. You then have this string of panels right here of two characters talking to one another, basically talking about them seeing the Hulk coming towards them. Then you get the lines, I'm afraid we have no choice but to demobilize Weapon X. So you get an actual reference of Weapon X and people that know of Wolverine, his background, his history, know that he is Weapon X. It's not until the very last page though that you, we actually see the Wolverine right here. And it is one panel within four or five panels of this last page. However, we get a full look of Wolverine, his costume. We also get the name, he calls himself the Wolverine. So you have a name, you have a cost fully seeable costume right there. He was referred to earlier on in the story. No, he's not necessarily in the story. He doesn't make an actual, I would say full story appearance, but he was mentioned earlier. So he has more of, of a story presence here than Bishop does in 282. And you see him just as well as you do in Bishop 282. Let's see though what CBCS and CGC have to say about this book. Here is a CGC Hulk 180. This is not a facsimile or anything like that. Let's blow this up for you. And CGC says, first appearance of Wolverine in cameo on last page of story. So very similar to what they have Bishop as. What about CBCS? Here is another 180 that I got off of eBay. Blow this up so we can see the label, good and clear. And we have Hulk 180, first appearance of Wolverine in Cameo. Wolverine also referred to as Weapon X, which honestly, I think that's pretty substantial. And I think that does need to be noted on these labels. So both CBCS and CGC agreeing that yes, this is the first in Cameo appearance of Wolverine. Also, CBCS putting in more information than CGC with by labeling 282 of Uncanny X-Men as Bishop's first cover appearance. And here on 180, labeling the Wolverine is referred to as Weapon X. I really like that. Let's take a look, though, at what most everybody says is Wolverine's first appearance, and that is Hulk 181. And here it is, that iconic cover 181 with Wolverine on the cover, definitely this is Wolverine's first cover appearance. I don't think anybody questions that at all. Awesome co colors. I do think this is the better of the two covers as well. So I see the appeal in that. And then let's go ahead and open the book up and let's see the first time that we see him. It is on the first page that you come to. Uh, you see him jumping out in between Hulk and Wendigo claws out ready to go ready to fight and then he is seen throughout the rest of the book fighting not only wendigo but the hulk as well he was sent to take on both of them so with that being said him fighting them both throughout the rest of the book this would be his first full in story appearance now let's look though at what cbcs and cgc have to say about these books here is a cgc that i got off of ebay let's blow this up for you Oh, 
apologize it's being a little bit blurry but you can make out that it says first full appearance of Wolverine James Logan Howlett Wendigo appearance so CGC says this is the first full appearance of Wolverine let's look and see what CBCS has to say about it again another pull from eBay CBCS says, first full appearance of Wolverine, James Logan Howlett, Wendigo cover and appearance, letter from Mary Jo Duffy. So both of both the grading companies saying this is Wolverine's first full appearance. I, I agree that it's his first full story appearance, but I also don't go off of just stories. I go off the first time that I actually see them in a comic book. And if we're out here and we're saying that 282 is Bishop's first full appearance, then you're more than likely in the same crowd of Hulk 180 being Wolverine's first full appearance. Also want to make note while we're talking about this, uh, shout out to Mr. Akins, what's on the comic rack. He has shown me not only a card, but also some text in a Marvel comic book publication stating both of them as 180 being Wolverine's first appearance. I looked for that video of his and could not find it. I also want to give a shout out to Cody with Where Did You Get That? I believe he has had some input on this as well, letting me know things. I also want to mention that in the trailer that dropped for the Wolverine game maybe a year or so ago, it's been a while, that in the background of the bar you will see a license plate that says HLK 180. Is this... Marvel saying, hey, yeah, like one a Hulk 180 is Wolverine's first appearance. Is this a trolling moment that Marvel's doing on us? I don't know. What is y'all let me know down in the comments below. What do you believe is Wolverine's first full appearance? Does the mention of Weapon X change your mind at all as far as 180 if you're on the 181 bandwagon? As for me personally, I am a Uncanny X-Men 282 and a Hulk 180 fan. Those are the ones that I think are his first appearance because I am a first time I see a character, not the first time that they're in story. Take that for what you will. You make up your own mind. That's what this video is for, is to help you out there pick the books that you want in your PC so that you are proud of them and you are happy with the money that you have invested in these books. Thank y'all so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. You can find me on the Comically Comics podcast every Monday on Spotify and on Apple Podcasts and many other podcast apps. You can also find me on Instagram, eBay, and Shortbox at 22 underscore comics. Once again, thank y'all so much for watching. And as always, y'all have a good one.